Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. My name is Brian Levine. I help out with the San Diego VR Meetup. Uh, I'm here with two 360 cameras today, the Samsung Gear 360 and the Ricoh Theta S. Had a lot of people talking to me about these cameras lately, asking me which one to get, uh, how do they look, how do they stack up. So I thought I'd take a quick side-by-side -side video just to kind of compare them and let you look at them back-to-back um, -back in the same video, doing the same stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of holding one camera in each hand here. What I'll do is let the video roll for a bit uh, and then switch over to the other camera's perspective. So really, if, if you're watching uh, from one camera, you should be able to see the other, and then that, that'll flip. So these are both great cameras. Uh, I've really had a good experience with both of them. They're both super conveniently sized, easy to use. They're all in one units operated from the smartphone. They automatically stitch things. Uh, they come with software of one sort or another to, to put videos together and post them online. So from an ease of use perspective, they're both great. Uh, the Gear 360 really is a generation ahead of the Theta S, and as such, it's not that uh, fair of a comparison in terms of uh, video capability. The Gear 360 is running at a 4K resolution, which is uh, a lot better than the Theta S's 1080p. Uh, all that has extra pixels are really necessary for 360 video. There are some reasons, though, that you would want a Theta. Uh, for one, it runs on iOS or Android. Well, the Samsung does require a more recent uh, Samsung phone. Android, of course. The Theta also has an HDMI video out port, so it does have some capability to do 360 live streaming, uh, although, again, at a, a lower uh, resolution. So uh, if you're really interested in live streaming, you might check out other cameras, such as the uh, Ali from uh, IC Real-Time Tech. Uh, another thing I like about the gear is that it has expandable storage and battery. I've had uh, problems with both these cameras kind of running out of battery very quickly. Uh, so it's actually been able to great to have both cameras on hand, so I have a backup. Uh, but I would say after 30 or 40 minutes of tooling around, shooting in videos and photos, um, these batteries seem to go dead. So the, the Rico has a built-in battery. It can't be replaced. It can be recharged. But of course, the, the gear does have a, a battery you can swap out. So I haven't yet picked up an additional battery, but it's something I'll be looking into. Uh, another limitation of the Theta is its built-in memory. It's got 8 gigs on board. Uh, which can do a reasonable amount of video, something like a half hour. The Samsung, though, takes um, micro SD cards or one of those really small versions of that, and I've got a 64 gig card in there now, uh, so really that's, that's not going to... All right, that about does it for this comparison of the Samsung Gear 360 and the Ricoh Theta S. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Whichever camera you decide to get, go out there, make some uh, great 360 isn't gonna be videos, concerned. and have fun.